Welcome back. After forcing two shutouts in Tennessee, the 2-0 Drover men are ready to continue that success all season. Team captain John Gardner said the team will take those games and build on them as the season progresses. So let's hear from him right now. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Hi again, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Our guest this week is John Gardner with the men's soccer program. Drover soccer team move up to number 15 in the NAIA national rankings this week. They're off to a 2-0 start. They won a couple of games out in Union, Tennessee this past weekend against Delta State and Emmanuel College, both by shutout. Let's bring in our guest today, John Gardner, and John, talk about the games a little bit. Congratulations on the good start. Thanks. Um, yeah, we went out to Tennessee, long road trip. Um, actually, we were going to take vans and the people mover, but in the end, we, we got a charter bus, which is always nice. Um, yeah, we had two games, two shutouts, as you say, and it's, it's kind of those kind of games where, you know, we're trying our new things, we're trying our formations, but we're, we're really trying to get ready for the season. So to come away with two clean sheets, the, the forward line done the job in, in the second game. We were a little bit, you know, we, we broke them down a few times in the first game. It, was, it seemed like it was going to be one of those games where we wouldn't get the goal, but we did. We plugged away in the second half. And um, as you say, um, it's, it's a good start, and we, we just want to carry on going from there. You've got to be happy just to be playing. I mean, you were out all last year because of an Achilles tendon injury. Those are pretty serious. Talk about what happened in some of your rehab. Um, the, the actual injury itself to this day, um, People don't really know how it happened. I mean, I, I jumped for a ball. They don't know whether it was on the, the takeoff or the landing. Um, maybe I landed funny, but um, a couple of boys heard a, heard a pop. Um, funny story, the, the Serbian boy Dusan Rasevic thought I had cramp and he comes over and he's, he's, he's pulling me leg and I'm like, I couldn't get the words out to say no. Uh, so he felt a little bit bad about that. Uh, the, the coaches say it was a partial tear and he, he completely ruptured it, but no. Um, it was it was a freak injury and like like you say people say it's a, it's maybe one of those that you don't come back from and even some of the boys on the team questioned it and yeah I'm just I'm just happy to play. Um, the rehab was uh, it was long. I mean it wasn't so much painful. The hardest thing is having to watch the boys play. Um, I got some I got some good advice from uh, a couple of people at OU trainers at OU. Uh, Landon Casey, the trainer at the time, worked with me every day. Um, and it was just a, a long process. I was in, I was in a cast for I think four or five weeks on crutches. Then I was in a boot for an extra six weeks, and I really only started walking uh, maybe Christmas time. Uh, so then you have to learn how to walk again. You have to learn how to run again. And uh, it was tough, but that's that's part of the game. Injuries are part of the game, and that's hopefully behind me now. And so you, again, you got to be happy to be playing now yeah, and be, yeah. a, be a part of the team. It's. I mean, the first day of practice, I was I was unsure whether I would. Uh, whether I would go the, go the distance, and I had to sit out a couple of times. But um, when you when you're injured, you, you kind of you get a new respect for the game, and you want to play every minute that you can. So um, I know when I was on the sidelines watching, I'd say oh, I'd go through any pain barrier to play. But then when it actually comes to do that, you're like, well, maybe. But no, I think um, you know nobody in confidence, at least nobody plays 100% ever. So you know you you're playing through pain barriers because we have. I think it's 20 games in, in the space of a couple of months. So um, I'm not the only one with problems. There's other boys with problems, and you know you just you just try and get through it each game as best you can. And we have a big squad, so if if I'm not right, I'm sure there's somebody who can come in and, and do my job for me. You get the job done in the classroom too. You were named uh, uh, NAIA Student Athlete or 
all-conference uh, student athlete for last year. You're a great GPA. By the way, you're a business and uh, physical education major. Um, the, the classroom side of things, lucky for me, um, this place is, is, is one of the places where if you put the work in, if you do that extra little bit, you, you do get your rewards. And you know, it might be a toss up between going and watch a movie with the guys on a Sunday night or spending the extra couple of hours studying for the test. So, um, so far I've, I've made the right decisions and, and hopefully I can carry on doing that till I graduate. Obviously you enjoy your stay here in the United States. The, uh, the, I, we were talking earlier, the biggest thing about, about this country compared to back home is the, the lifestyle is, is a lot more laid back. Now I don't just mean, you know, I've spent time in other, other states in, in the United States and uh, for England everybody kind of lives for the weekend, um, you know, they, they work Monday to Friday then they're out drinking Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes Monday. Um, but it's for me like I, I love I love the not just the college lifestyle like I, I like the involvement in the soccer program. Uh, our school systems back home don't really have that, so for me to come out here it was a it was a good opportunity. And then you know you see the country for what it is, and um, I probably I probably like to stay here after I graduate. Great, John. Thanks for your time, and uh, good luck for the rest of the year. Thank you very much. John Gardner, our guest on this week's edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Drovers are home this weekend. They have Brescia uh, University on Friday and uh, St. Thomas from Houston on Saturday. The USAO women not back in action until next Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Now, if you can't make it out to the games this season, you can follow them live online via live stats. Visit USAO's sports website during the game for up-to-the-minute stats. And tune in next week for more Drover Soccer on In the Saddle. <laughs>